Hey guys, today I want to let you in on a secret that I have had for a year. Well, I started in the fall using these. And if you guys know me, you know I don't promote a ton of products, especially ones that I have never tried before. So this one I wanted to try for a couple of seasons to make sure they did what they said they would do. Now I have also have to say right off the bat, this is not a sponsored video. I do have an affiliate link with Gardener Supply so that if you go and you want to try these out, use my link down below in the description. You won't pay any more, but the channel will get a little bit of support financially to help us keep doing what we do. So this is the secret, and it is the self-watering seed tray from Gardener Supply. Now that's not even the real name. I don't remember the real name, but that's what they do, and they do it really well. So last fall, I started uh, some perennial seeds for the cottage garden in these. They grew all winter, did great, and then two weeks ago, so this isn't really a secret if you watched my uh, flower sowing video from a couple of weeks ago. In fact, we sowed all these flowers then just two weeks ago, and look how great they look now. These uh, are a lot of perennials for the cottage garden because it's a big space I gotta fill. And my big issue over many years is starting seeds indoors is difficult for me, mainly for the watering aspect of it. You wanna water from below because that helps keep disease at a minimum, but that is difficult to do because you've gotta set them in the water, but not too long. You wanna remove them when they're done, pour the water out, put them back. So inside, that can be a big mess and a big pain, especially when they need to be watered almost every day once they start, once they're up and you know start growing. This does all the work for you. It's got a few pieces here. Let me go over it and show you how it works. So it's got this bottom tray. This is where all the water is stored and you don't have to pour this out. This stays in here. Then it comes with this little stand. This stands above the water level and keeps the seed tray above that level so they're not just constantly soaking in a swamp. And then this is a wicking mat and part of it hangs down into the water. That water through capillary action is wicked into this mat. And then as this sits on top of it, the potting mix in, the, in this tray is touching that wicking mat. So it wicks it up into the potting, potting mix so you never have to water. All you have to do is just make sure that there's water in here. And that only has to be done every four or five days, but the end result is perfectly watered seedlings all the time. You don't have to worry about it. Now these, like I said, have only been in here a couple of weeks. And so it's time for a few of these to be pricked out and to put into their own little six packs. So I'm gonna show you how easy that is to do as well. So I'm starting off, I've got my recycled uh, garden center six packs. I've got some pre-moistened seed starting mix. And typically, you know, you'd, you'd pull the whole cell out and then kind of work the roots apart. But these I've already checked, they're not that mature yet. So we're just gonna take a toothpick. This is Agrostemma Purple Queen. And I'm just gonna loosen up the potting mix in here in an upward movement and just kind of gently give pressure upwards, pulling on the leaves, not the stem. We're just gonna loosen it all up in here until you feel them give way. It might be a little more. Uh, pencil works better for these. They're not quite as established as I thought. So, Never pull on the stems, you wanna pull on the leaves because if the leaves break off, that's okay. But if you smash or break the stem, it's done. So we're just gonna set this in here, just press it down just a little and give it some soil. Keep the soil level below the leaves. If you need to rip the roots apart, that's okay. And these can go into the cold frame to uh, help harden them off. The root system on that one. It's 
So the first two leaves that come up are their seed leaves or cotyledons. And the first two leaves, that shows you that the roots are developing enough to be able to move them. Now these are super tiny. I don't need to do that yet. And I probably won't even do these quite yet. I'll probably give those a few more days to just, well, see like these here. These could be done. These aren't quite ready. So you can tell the difference. This has its first true leaves. This does not. And look at the difference in root structure. All right, so these are Nicotiana, and they're gonna be a little more delicate. So I'm gonna see if I can pull the whole clump out. Yeah, their, leaf, their roots aren't very big. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave them. They're gonna stay in there a little bit longer. Okay, so now we're gonna work on this tray here. This is Salvia Summer Jewel Pink, and you can see they've got really, they're, they're actually working on their third set of leaves. Yeah, we got good roots on these. Okay. And of course, vegetables can be done the same way. In fact, I've got peppers inside that are growing. I'm working on a how to grow peppers video, a full complete growing guide. So be on the lookout for that in a few weeks. Now, if you have, if the roots are really, you know, you wait too long and the roots are really filling this up and you find that pulling these apart is just breaking the leaves, breaking the stems, then get yourself a bucket of water and just swish the entire root ball underwater. And that is going to loosen things up. It's going to remove most of the potting mix. And that will help you to pull those uh, plants apart much easier. But I'm not at risk at this stage here. Don't need to do that. Now the reason I am using seed starting mix, even though the seeds have been started and they're growing, um, and it may not be a really a necessity, but I feel like at this small stage, transplanting them like this, I still want them to be in a, a really fine um, textured mix. And that's what seed starting mix does. So these are just a week or two older. You could probably get away easily with uh, regular potting mix. And if they're floppy or they're tilted or they're not exactly in the middle of the cell, that's not a big deal. They'll figure themselves out. I know a lot of people think you need to baby these. Uh, they do take a little bit of gentle care, but you're holding the leaves. If you break a leaf, if you're sticking the, the roots down in there and you see a few break off, it's not a big deal. They're more robust than you think. In fact, that's just root pruning. And so every time you break one of those roots, as long as it's not the whole thing coming off, um, each one of those breaks is going to make that root break into two or three other roots. So it's really just invigorating the plant, just like when you pinch back the top of a plant. So this is a no must, no fuss, no worry job that you can totally do. If you learned something, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, share it with a gardening friend, and I'll see you next time.